Adam the Woo here as the recording of this Tuesday, October 18th, 2022, wearing an appropriate t-shirt because it is the Halloween season. In fact, a Halloween item is rearing its head today at a fast food establishment by the name of McDonald's. Sometimes I call it Mickey D's. Last week, I tried to get the adult Happy Meal and I failed at that because I waited too long and they were all sold out. And I believe that promotion, even though it's slated to go till the end of the month, is over and done with. They have sold out. I do not want to make that mistake today. At the unveiling of the retro style, throwback style, if you will, Boo Buckets. There are three different designs and I'm gonna see if I can get all three. If I can't get it from one, I'll go to three different ones and just see if I can procure the Boo Buckets of retro goodness. I'm inviting you to join me. I believe 10.30 they start. I think maybe even at midnight last night, but I don't know, maybe even for breakfast. 10.30 is what I read online, so. 10.30 is what I slated to, to go get mine at. Shall you? I figured most of the Happy Meals start around lunch. Uh, usually like 11-ish. But I was reading somewhere that at 10.30. Could have got them earlier, like I said, but 10.30 is what I'm going for. So by the time I drive over to the one that sell the retro Art Deco one, by, oh, there it goes. The bicycle just moved. Which means I gotta get moving and get in line for a boo bucket. A boo for the woo. I'm excited. Why am I so excited about this? Now, I 100% do not know how this works exactly. Maybe they'll sell me three. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Art Deco McDonald's for the win. One thing I've noticed, this place really is not as busy as other Mickey D's. So I think I have a better chance here. Possibly. Maybe I don't want to speak too soon. It is 10.20 right now, so I might be a little too early. I have to come back in 10 minutes. Just breakfast menu. Hmm. I don't see them on the menu board. Good morning, welcome to McDonald's. Will you be in the mobile today? Oh, I won't be. Go do ahead you, with the order, sir. Do you, are you serving lunch in the Happy Meals yet? The Halloween buckets yet? Uh, it'll be at 10.30, so just in a few minutes, about eight minutes or so. So come back in like um, eight minutes? I can sell you just the pail. Do you have, all, you do you have all three of the pails? No, we just have the white one right now, the McGoo's. Is that going to be all the McDonald's only having the, the ghost? Well, we're waiting for our next shipment. Our next shipment should have like the other colors. Okay. They so gave I, us these to start off. Does it come with a toy or is it just the... Um, I'm not sure. Let me double check that for you. Okay. Right, they said they could sell me the McBoo. I like that. Maybe I'll get that, and then by the time I get over to the one by Animal Kingdom, they might have the other ones. I think I'm just gonna buy okay, it. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't come with toys, just the pail, and it comes like with some little stickers inside. Okay, I'll just go ahead and just buy that then. I'll go over to the one by Animal Kingdom and see if they have other ones. Oh, I see. You just wanna buy the pail? Yeah. Okay, one moment. Happy face McBoo on this side, and on the opposite side, frightened faced McBoo. Meat I4. Westbound in the Mickey Power Pole, off in the distance. McBoo with the golden arches down there below. 2022 date stamped on there. They did not, I forgot, I drove off without asking for the stickers that he talked about. And this will be kind of nice because I really don't want to consume three Happy Meals. Just one would be good. So if I could maybe purchase two pails and then hopefully get one to consume a little snack. And I'm really kind of hoping they have the other ones. They have the pumpkin. I think the witch is the other one. I think there's three different ones. McBoo! And if for some reason they have the same one at this one, I'm just going to guess that all the deliveries are the ghost boo buckets. But I'm still going to go to three different ones. Just take my chances. And maybe, who knows, maybe even more than three. I don't know. But at least three. Could be one of those types of things where they put out one a week until they're all out. Or maybe every few days. Not sure. Check it out. There is a minivan in the drive-thru. You can order those as a theme park guest to go from resort to resort or theme park to theme park. But you can also utilize it to go through a drive-thru if you want yourself a boo bucket. Evidently someone did. Minivan is because it's Minnie Mouse. It's not a van, it's like a extended cab. I'm not sure what that is. Nonetheless, it's a clever name, Minivan, because it's Minnie Mouse. I'm not seeing them on the menu here. 
Okay, it's 10.36 at the moment. Okay, maybe this one does, maybe this one's 11 a.m. and not 10.30. 10.36. By the way, this is a solar-powered McDonald's. Entire roof, solar panels. Well, because my McDonald's, you'll be using the whole app, say? No, I won't be using the app. Are you serving what can I get for you? Are you serving lunch yet? Do you have the Halloween? No, until 11. Do you have the Halloween buckets? Yes, we do the orange one. Can I just buy just the Halloween bucket? Um, no. I think you have to buy like the whole Happy Meal. I have to buy the whole Happy Meal? Yeah. Okay, so come back right at 11 and you have the 11, orange one. Yeah. So you have the pumpkin? The pumpkin, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, that's a very good sign, the fact that they have the orange one, which is the pumpkin one. I'm guessing it's the pumpkin one. That means two different McDonald's, two different ones. And I'm just gonna wait around. I got 22 minutes until it is 11 a.m. So the one off-site, off WDW property, 10.30 is, you know, in celebration proper. 10.30 a.m. is when they start serving lunch. But here, it's 11 a.m. So I'm gonna go in here at 11, walk in, not get back in the drive-thru, and then might go to another one, try to get the, try to get all three today. That is, that is the goal. Solar powered Mickey D's, the golden arches right here. Really love this McDonald's. You can like pedal some bikes over there too. And it lights up the, it lights up the foliage. All right, 1043, went in and asked. Drive through, they said they couldn't sell me one, but I went in and asked if they could sell me one just walking in. They said no, precisely on the dot at 11 a.m. And I cannot buy one of the Halloween buckets inside by itself. The other one, the first place, could buy it singly. It was like less than $2, I think it was $1.99. Here I have to buy the whole kit and caboodle. Is that even a word anymore? Or is that even a terminology? I have to get the whole thing. So I'm gonna order that one and I'm, I think, I, want, if, I also saw that they have the, the pumpkin version in there. So I'm hoping if I go to a couple other McDonald's, I will be able to get all three today. That's the hope, that's the goal. But I gotta wait a few more minutes. Maybe I'll do a little pedaling over there on the bicycle. They have a pedaling, and as you're sitting on that and you pedal, it kind of lights up the greenery. And I need to work, I need to burn some calories off. I'm gonna consume at least one or two Happy Meals today. I should probably work off some calories. This really is an incredible building. Piece of architecture here with all the solar panels and the foliage and the greenery on the side. This is the, you know, bus parking over here near the drive-through lane, so you have a complete pull-through, and then you have the drive-through lane with three pickup areas. Maybe every, there's no one in line here. Maybe everyone's waiting for the 11 o'clock moment to get the boo buckets. Maybe I'm the, I could be, maybe I'm the only one that's excited about this. Yes, number two of the trilogy series that I'm trying to accomplish today. This is Mick Pumpkin here. So you got the face over here. I can't tell if that's a happy or a frown. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Looks like both of them. Kind of the same, the eyes are a little bit different. Okay, the only difference is the eyes are slightly different. One is like happy and one is kind of like slightly sad. It comes with the stickers and I'll kind of show what's inside there as well. But I went with the little Coke here, small Coke, apple slices, a burger, and has the stickers on top of it. There's a crow, there's like a scarecrow outfit there, activity on the back. And let's see, head over to, head over to the next spot, but got the second of the three pails. So far, so good. And the cost on that one with everything in it, $6.60, $6.60 with tax included. If it was just six more pennies, I'd be a little, I, that would really put me in the Halloween spirit. Damien? Yeah, you know, six, 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 you, you get it. It would be pretty spectacular if this third one coming up right over here has the witch one and I'm three for three. The drive-through is starting to back up just a little bit, so I think I'm gonna walk in and check. And if they do not have the green which one I'm gonna probably move on to another and there's a few more in this area so I'm just on a quest for the last of the three on a quest oh look at this ba -da, ba -ba. okay that's the slogan I was trying to figure out what that was a boo subject to availability that's why I want to do it on the first day right when it opened so I've got this one already got this one already I just need this one. Why is this one a lot smaller? Maybe they're putting the witch in the back because you know, for whatever reason, maybe a witch is supposed to be in the sh lurking in the shadows. I don't know the reason. Oh yes, I have accomplished what I set out to do. Three easy steps. I did not think this was gonna happen. 
Got the witch here, the witch bucket. It's interesting, this was $5.80? It gave us under $6, which means it was almost a full dollar, close to about 80 cents less than the one on Disney property. And it could be because I did not get a soda and I went with the water? But I think that's all kind of included. So it's also, you know what it is? I might not have got apple. No, I got apple slices in both of them. For whatever reason, so this is it. This is called the Mick Goblin. Okay, it's not a witch. It's a goblin. It's a Mick Goblin. My apologies for calling the goblin a witch. I'm not a witch. I'm your wife. Oh, Princess Bride. Reference there. Now just got to find a place to consume two. I got two meals and three buckets. I got all three buckets on my first try. These will probably go pretty quick. So I'm glad I did it on the first day. It's winking at me, this goblin. This is a non-winking goblin, not a witch. And this is a winking goblin, not a witch. And I like the werewolf, werewolf. The castle has a little sticker paws. Oh, look at the witch cap. Okay, so I'm seeing the witch reference. Got the shoes. I gotta go find a place to eat this and I'll show all this off. Went ahead and headed back over to Celebration, Savannah Square is where I'll be doing my showing off the review. Well, reviewing and showing off the the buckets, the boo buckets, the Halloween pails, as the receipt shows, Halloween pail. Savannah Square with the squirrel right there. And I have my three different ones. One of them does not have food in it, but the other two do. They do for the woo with a boo. Three different buckets full of goodness. I keep wanting to call this the witch. This is the McGoblin. See what I can do here. Let me do this. They don't have lids on them this time, too. These have come out a couple times in recent past. And they, before, years ago, when they came out, they had lids. They don't have lids on them this time. McThumbnail. Yes! I have accomplished all freaking three of these things. I feel pretty good about that. I don't know if that's something that really, there's a nice little shade spot right over here. A little sun there, but a little shade spot right here. I do love the shade. So I'm gonna grab this bench, which has been adorned and carved out where it says, celebration. Polished off the, <clears throat> fry went down the wrong, wrong tube. Polished off the small Coke I had. And the second meal came with a Dasani water, a little salt water there. Although, I've heard that every water has salt in it. Salt, just Dasani has a little bit more. So, got the first one here, which is known as the McBoo. McBoo there. You can see each of these have two different facial expressions on them. Again stated, no lids, but they have this very unique portion of the top that kind of acts as like a little head. head decor as well so there's that one and then of course there is what i refer to as the witch which is called the mcgoblin and lastly and not leastly the mcpumpkin not pumpkin but pumpkin and i'll check out the stickers now these are pretty awesome i love retro stuff i love mickey d's i love fast food history this is, kind of, this is pretty dang cool they brought these back. Going into the McGoblin here, so I'm gonna pull off this here with the werewolf and all that. And it says activities on back. You got some skeleton costumes. Dress the skeletons with stickers. Get them ready for Halloween. Okay, that's pretty cool. So the stickers for the werewolf and the witch are to go over the top of those skeletons. Skeletons. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Now I went with some apple slices here. And these are the same ones you get in the regular traditional Happy Meal with the, the Cars on the Road series. And I also went with a six piece nugget. Now I did order some sauce. I got some, I think I ordered some like hot spicy sauce. They didn't end up putting it in there, but that's fine. Or you know what, maybe, maybe it's inside here. Let me check out the, uh, let me check out inside. See possibly if they're in here. Okay, no, just the six nuggets. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Six nuggets. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Maybe that's why it was a little less. But possibly. Because I think this one was $5.80, $5.60. This one 
was six dollars and sixty six six cents shy of the evilest number that there is okay i only got four nuggets i ordered the six one they only gave me yeah, it's fine so there's that got some leftover fries the fries i have taken out of here just to just to give the ghost the mcboo doesn't feel left out now for the mcpumpkin not pumpkin pumpkin Activities on back. More skeletons, skeleton costume. Dress the skeletons, get them ready for Halloween. You could put a little pumpkin on top of your skeleton or a bird on top of the scarecrow, right there. That's pretty pretty dang fun. I think I might hang onto these and not utilize them. I might stack these all together back at my homestead and kind of save these as a little souvenir. So I don't know if I'm gonna utilize these. Might be like collectibles at some point, maybe not. Never know anymore with how things are gonna be considered collectibles down the road or if everyone's gonna get them and they're just not very rare. But more apple slices and these small fry down here. So I'll put that in there so the ghost doesn't feel left out. And a hamburger. Luckily the Hamburglar did not know about these or this would have also been omitted. For one reason or another, there's just something really good about the regular old style McDonald's burger. No cheese on this, just a little pickle in there, some ketchup. There's been times in the past I've gone to McDonald's, didn't get a Big Mac, didn't get a filet of fish even though I love those items. And I'll just get like two of these, just two regular hamburgers. Not the greatest hamburgers in the world, but just something about them. It tastes like McDonald's. That's, that's the best way to describe McDonald's. It's not good, it's not bad, it's kind of right in the middle. It's just, it's just McDonald's. Now I don't know why this didn't strike me till just now. These should be great trick-or-treating buckets on All Hallows Eve. That's what they're probably originally made for. Yeah, you can take these out trick-or-treating around town, around celebration. Or around anywhere, you know, if you buy them anywhere across the US. Maybe even internationally. I'm not sure if these are international, but yeah. I just chowed, I just finished up my burger. Sauceless nugget time. I had nuggets the other day without sauce. But then I got there and they had this like hot spicy sauce that was on the menu. Also, at the last place, I could not order at the cashier. I had to use the digital screen. Sometimes you have an option, the last, the third place where I got this one. I had to use the digital screen and I opted in to get the hot sauce. I thought I'd try some, I've been on a hot kick lately. I did some hot stuff yesterday today. I figured it, a little dipping sauce. Sometimes I don't do sauce. Today, sand sauce as well. McNuggets have their own flavor. I don't think there's any other chicken type fried items like this that taste anything like a big nugget. They're, it's like, like I said, it's like, they're not the best, they're not the worst, they're just kind of, they're just McDonald's. back there. You can kind of mix and match them or you can switch it around. Let's see, get them all happy here. Okay, they're all happy. This one's winking and you got the kind of like, that's like an evil pumpkin. And this, well, they're both happy. That's happy. It's like, this one's smiling in two different ways. And this one's kind of the meanest looking one. Very scowl on the face there. I like these, they're cute. The other day I discovered that these small package fries actually exist. Look at it in the so like, correlation to the size of my face and my cheek here. This is tiny, but I like them. I like having these little packets of fries. That's a long fry inside a small package. It is. That's the mail carriers over there. Going out on the route. 
One last look at these. Personal preference on which face you would like it to be. Oh, I love that. It didn't work out well because you can't really see. Let me go around this other side. I thought I'd be able to very silhouetted out. And then this side didn't work out either. Look at this. I didn't have them lined up right. Can't really see their faces. Okay, this looks cool. Sort of walkway here. One last look at these retro throwback style 2022 edition Halloween pails, Halloween buckets. Love it. And I, th I think I did pretty well with finding all three at three different times. Each McDonald's only had one pail. The first one here in Celebration only had the ghost, did not have the other two. The second one I went to, which was Animal Kingdom, well, just outside Animal Kingdom, that Mickey D's had the McPump. Oh, I just hit the camera. And thirdly, the McGoblin. At the third one on Highway 192, kind of near where Splinter China used to be. Kind of, sort of. All of them only had one each, so I had to go to all three. I don't know if that will be par for the course across the U.S. or around here, or if they will sell out, or they will become very popular, or they will be bountiful and a plenty, and we'll not have any issue getting them. All this will be decided in due time, but I am happy that I got them. And that's going to do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.